Hello everyone, this is Wayne coming to you from Wayne's Modern World here in Central Florida. Uh, today we're going to do a short video. Um, we're going to do a um, an update on um, the progress of the um, 2065 Bonneville. Um, this is one I previewed uh, probably about two weeks ago, two weeks or so, when I did the... Um, Corvette that I did this is what's on the bench next uh, nice kit uh, had no trouble with it hardly any mold lines very little flash and everything fit pretty decent um, went together so far what I've got done uh, pretty easy so uh, we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna back out here And I'm going to bring it in. This is just mocked up. Uh, nothing's really permanent together. It's just kind of um, the body's just sitting on a chassis with the interior and no windows or anything in it yet. Uh, we did some minor customizing to the back. Uh, this is a piece that comes with a kit. Uh, my plans is to, um, they have a, a chrome piece that goes in there, but I'm not sure I'm going to use it. I think I'm just going to put some tail lights in, a, in there, fill that in with tail lights. Um, of course, we did a two tone paint on it. We got all the bare metal foil done down the bottom. Uh, let's see if we can kind of get in on that a little closer. Or maybe we'll just bring it up here rather than. We'll get all that, all the chrome on the bottom done. Uh, we got we got a decal it's really hard to see that decal actually has a stripe that runs along that body line uh, we got the nameplate it says Bonneville on the door uh, the color I used um, it, it's just here it's um, deco art a metallic green it's a um, peacock uh, pearl it's called uh, of course it's, it's an acrylic which I thin with uh, windshield washer fluid. And uh, of course, clear is uh, Rust Oleum 2X Clear. Uh, this is basically, I just cleared this th this afternoon. So, so this, this is basically how it came out of the booth. I haven't done any, any sanding or rubbing on it yet. Uh, we did put a decal, we got a decal on the hood. A little bit of a, a decal there it matches the one that's down the side um, I, I think I, it comes with a custom front end on it but I really didn't like the way it, it looked or the hood was big and bulky so I think I'm just going to go with with the standard um, you know the factory front end on it on the bumper and the grill work uh, of course it's the other side and then of course um, we have the we have the Bonneville uh, nameplate on it on this door also, and then in the back um, on the deck lid we also have another nameplate, another Bonneville nameplate on the deck lid. Deck lid has been all shaved. Take took the peak out of the. Um, usually has a peak that runs down the center of the deck lid and the, the hood. We removed both of them. Of course, we did the two tone to, on the hood. Uh, Okay, I'm, what I'm going to do, I'm going to lift the body off so I can show you the interior and the chassis. Let me pull that interior out. Okay. Um, the interior, of course, we detailed the dash. We chromed the, uh, we painted the insert and then did the chrome bezeling, bezels around it. We got a stick shift on the floor with a console. We got a tack. Um, we carpeted this, this piece comes, this piece here comes with the kit, it fills in the back seat, I thought that was kind of neat, something different. Uh, and I carpeted it, with, this is actually felt, uh, which I always use for my carpets, it, that's glued down, of course, this is all belt, bare metal foiled. Uh, the seat, the insulators on the seats match the, uh, colored on the, um, on the two-tone, of course we have some chrome accents on the seat. I still got to put the seat belts in yet. They're 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 drying. I painted them. They're drying. Um, and that's pretty much it. Um, of course, the stick shift, which is a, is a straight pin with the head on it, 
hard, really hard to see. I don't know if I can get a real close up on that. Ah, there we go. That looks pretty good. We gotta make it. We gotta put a boot on there yet. We gotta put a little rubber. Uh, make a looks like a rubber boot. We did the, We did the door panels. And they're all trimmed out, same color as the as a two tone. Uh, we did chrome the handles. They're kind of hard to see. You gotta look real close. But we did all the door handles and window crank. We did those. That's the interior. Um, the engine. We uh, let's go back up here. The wheels. The wheels I used on this are from the 2006 Camaro. Uh, they're a pretty uh, low profile tire. They're from that 2006 Camaro kit that I uh, robbed the roof off of for the Corvette. Uh, the other thing I don't like about this kit is, of course, it's got the one-piece molded uh, um, chassis, so the the exhaust and everything is molded in, which you got, I had a, I painted, and we did the chrome straps on the gas tank. I still got to run two dual exhausts out the back. I'm going to do that yet. That hasn't been done. We chrome the A arms, but um. That's about it for the chassis. There's not much to it. I, like I said before, like I just stated, I, I don't like these kind of chassis where they're all one piece molded. I like when you have to put the exhaust on and put the rear end in. And But um, got to do what you got. Got to work with what you got. Okay, uh, the engine, of course the engine isn't complete. I have it painted. I got the six carbs on it. I got it, I got it drilled for the spark plugs. We got that, so... We got a just uh, homemade distributor. Uh, so I still got to detail this out. I got the holes drilled. I don't know if you can see them in the carburetor for the fuel lines to plug in. So I got to plumb it yet and wire it. So I uh, I got the pieces for the front, the fan, and 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 the water pump and all. I got that um, painted. I'm waiting for it to dry. Some of it I chromed, like the fan and and the uh, alternator. I chromed them with uh, Molotov pen but other than that that's, that's about where we're at so um, we still got a ways to go I think I still got some things to go I, of course I'll wait to I'll let this set for a couple days and I'll sand it and buff it uh, but the, I thought it come out pretty decent I'm happy with paint the paint come out really good uh, like I said we'll do a little we'll do a little 5,000 on it and um, buffer up a couple days here of course, we did the bare metal foil, like I stated, all around the windows. That, that's been done. Molding around the back glass uh, and the, the windshield area. We chrome plated the uh, intake vents there. Um, I'll pop the hood open. The hood actually is hinged on this. Probably, should, probably put it on a little too soon. It might be sticking because clear was a little damp. I don't know. Yeah, we uh, we pulled a little bit right there where it's stuck, but that's nothing. I can fix that. Um, the firewall, we got it painted. We got everything chromed on the firewall. Well, of course, we'll have to do some wiring there yet and, and some lines and stuff. So we, we, we still got a good way to go yet. So, um, it'll probably be, probably, I'm, I'm probably looking probably another week. Uh, this will be ready to be uh, a final reveal. Um, but that, that's where I'm at. Um, I'm still, I'm still looking, when I do the final reveal, I'll put what, what I'm going to be doing next. I'm still looking. Uh, I spent the whole day, whole day the other day, um, Inventory in my stash. I pulled all my models off the shelf. Uh, I, can't, I put Fords with the Fords, a Chevy with the Chevys, and ones that still, how many I had, like a bunch of 44s. I put all them together and I inventoried them and did a sheet. So all I have to do is go down the sheet, pick what I want, and I, I know what, it, what spot it's in. I have them all in a certain spot. So that'll kind of, rather than trying to shuffle through a pile of boxes, I, I kind of did an inventory on them. But that's it for now. Um, like I said, a few more days we ought to have this done and uh, do the final on it. So with that, 
This is Wayne. Have a good one. Stay safe. Goodbye.